Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, May, May 9th, 2019. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Just a quick uh, update, a quick announcement. We are going to have happy hour tonight. So if you would like to get on the list, as of the moment that you are hearing this right now, the floor is open. Yes? Um, you can go ahead and send payment to my PayPal account. Uh, the <clears throat> information is, uh, there's a link on my homepage here on YouTube, or you could just use my email address, um, to send payment. My email is in the description box below. Uh, happy hour readings are $20. They are discounted to $20. Yes. Um, and I do a maximum of 10 in the session. So there are 10 spots available. Go ahead and get on the list if you would like to get on the list. Sorry, I was just thinking about something. I was trying to remember if someone... Anyway, um, yeah, so that's happening tonight. That's going to be around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come hang out with us. It's going to be fun. Yes. Okay, so... Um, this is a general energy reading. Uh, time is an illusion and energies are fluid, okay? So this, these messages are timeless. So whenever you're guided to listen to this message is most likely when there is a, uh, a message in there that will resonate for you. Yes? Okay. I think that's it. So let's get to it. Let's get to it, y'all. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, May 9th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's see here. I did do a little bit of a pre-shuffle, um, and what came out was the universe, the two of wands, the king of pentacles, the three of cups, and then the two of pentacles was underneath the deck. So, not the, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the universe card is a unique card in this deck. It talks about ascension, completion, arrival, success, um, to me, it was just an energy of being in a certain state of expanded consciousness, having reached a new level. Um, it does represent a form of ascension. Um, to me, the, like, okay, having reached a certain level and now being able to, to look at life from a certain vantage point and, and, um, coupled with the two of wands that was there, this was having completed a, a lot of lessons or some major lessons <clears throat> and now being in this space where you get to choose where you want to go next to continue your journey okay that was um the universe coupled with the two of wands and then the king of pentacles obviously this is either a masculine energy or your challenge was to ground yourself get rooted or get um you know, uh, have a better manifestation of yourself, you know, have being more firmly or, um, oh gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? More stable, more well manifested, you know, being really, really grounded, really secure in yourself, in your physical life, in your physical existence, or we're talking about a masculine energy here. Um, and then there's the Three of Cups. I, I almost feel like this is a bit of a break for the masculine energies. Um, 
and underneath the deck was the two of pentacles there's like there's like a, a like a breather a sigh of relief a situation in which you can now like take a second and look back at where you were and where you've come from and now really choose which way you want to go in your physical life okay i'm gonna give this one more oh i just heard two more i'm gonna give this two more shuffles and then We'll get started. All right, here we go, guys. Monday, not Monday, good Lord. Thursday, Thursday, May 9th, 2019. That's the second time I've done that. I said it's Monday when it's not. Thursday, Thursday, May 9th, 2019. Let's see what we've got here, guys. Woo! Thursday, May 9th. There was drama with that card. We'll have to see what that is. Thursday, May 9th, 2019. Okay, the King of Swords. But the King of Swords is in reverse here. Thursday, May 9th. And this one card wanted to come out. All right. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Underneath the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. All right. This card, I'm gonna leave that there. Oh, I think that's the Moon Child card. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. No, it's the Two of Swords. Uh oh. We're back in the Two of Swords energy, guys. There was all kinds of drama with that when that came out, but looky here. So we have the King of Swords is in reverse with the Two of Swords. There's. We just. Oh gosh, we were just talking about this yesterday. I thought we were out of the indecisiveness. Interesting. I'm not sure what to do with that. I kind of just want to leave it off to the side here. Because it doesn't really match the energies that are coming through here. With, I mean, all this beautiful stuff. I mean, maybe it does a little bit with this Four of Cups energy. But I really do see this Four of Cups as emotional uh, balance emotional stability at least in this deck okay this doesn't look like you know the rejection or the unrequited love or the boredom this looks like gaining emotional stability and then you have the four of wands which is union family marriage the home um but this is also gaining st uh, spiritual st stability in my opinion as well having a really solid foundation here and especially coupled with divine wisdom i mean this is a great combination here you have divine wisdom is another one of the special cards in this deck okay divine wisdom um you know what actually let me just read it to you guys because i don't want to butcher it i don't want to butcher it so i'm just going to read it for you give me a second here here we go uh, the Divine Wisdom card represents Akasha, Awakening, Higher Self, Unity, and Expansion. It says the floodgates are beginning to open as the seeded wisdom of the ancient mysteries are now pouring through. This is a divine knowledge that exists within your cellular memory and the power of your own unique story. You might be experiencing a breakdown of the artificial structures that wish to fall by the wayside as new forms of wisdom stir within your heart. This may also indicate a deeper sense of awakening as you connect with various forms of teachings, lineages, and philosophies that call from beyond this lifetime. Um, okay, so that's wonderful. And especially with these two fours here, the four of cups, the four of wands, you are, you, I mean, there's a deeper sense of wisdom, a deeper sense of awakening, a deeper sense of structure and foundation for yourself. Yes, which is beautiful which is really quite beautiful. Now, couple that with strength and the six of pentacles. There is a sense of restraint here. There's a sense of holding back, only giving when it's appropriate, receiving when it's appropriate. Um, knowing the balance of give and take, knowing how to really balance that out fairly well for yourself. Um, and to be quite honest, 
I really feel like that is part of this foundation, this emotional and spiritual foundation stability that you are expressing, generating even. And then there's this energy. King of Swords in reverse with the Two of Swords upright. Okay, look, look. Someone is overthinking like crazy here. It's almost as if one day they're clear on something and either the next day or one moment they're clear and then the next moment they're not. It keeps going back and forth. And with this Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like whoever this person is, because I mean, it's entirely possible that it could be the same person. I don't, I don't think it's very likely though. It really isn't very likely because this is a really stable, grounded energy. This is not King of Swords and the Two of Swords. So with the Wheel of Fortune here, in comparison to this energy, I feel like whoever this person is, isn't necessarily waiting around for whoever it is over here to get their act together, to figure out what it is they want. Because this person knows what they want. This person is very strong, very solid, very secure. And they're not really gonna be giving anything until the scales are balanced. Until the recep the, there's reciprocity there, until the, per the, the other people engaged are engaged in the process of giving and taking, of exchange, okay? It's not until it's fair and balanced. That is, honestly, I really feel like that's the biggest form of divine wisdom that you have or this person has learned or acquired the understanding of the balance of give and take and with the wheel of fortune here it's almost like time is just ticking away either this person's going to get their act together and they're gonna they're just gonna start engaging or they're just gonna stay in this like fearful state with the king of swords in reverse and the two of swords like come on they're gonna either you either you snap out of it and start engaging in the situation here, or you don't and you get left behind. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is saying. This person right here, oh, this person is not bothered. <laughs> Four of Cups. Emotionally, they're not bothered by it, mainly because they've been through so much strength and they learned so much through that and so they're just kind of like whatever whatever happens happens if this person is for me or if this situation is for me then it'll come through if not someone else will take its place i mean that's pure logic right there and understanding an emotional commitment to yourself rather than getting wrapped up in the external representation in someone else okay all right, we're gonna move on to the clarifiers now. Um, and I'm still using my brand new Golden Universal Tarot deck. I love this deck, you guys. It's so flippin' beautiful. Like, God, I could just, literally, I could just play with it all day. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and clarify this King of Swords in reverse first. I'm going to see what that's about. Mr. Uptight over here. Mr. Got his panties all in a bunch. <laughs> and I'm saying that because I'm trying to make light of the situation. Whoever this is, this King of Swords man, I almost want to say he's got his head so far up his ass he doesn't know what to do about it. But it it's not even like it's in a sense this this is not this is not in a, in a sense from egotism even though yes your ego is getting is extremely extremely in the way this is more of a fearful energy than being stuck up or full of himself or this is literally just like way overthinking too much you got to um, Okay, Spirit is saying you have to get your head out of your ass. You just have to do it. And just look at things clearly. 
see things for what they truly are. That's why you're in this indecisive state with the Two of Swords, because you're refusing to look at things as they truly are. You're refusing to look at the situation and think that, or and believe that it could be better than it seems. Hmm. All right, one more shuffle. And then we're going to clarify this King of Swords in reverse with the Two of Swords energy. Let's see what this is here, kids. Let me sip some tea first. <laughs> All right. What's your deal, Schlemiel? King of Swords reverse with the Two of Swords. King of Swords reversed. Apparently, you don't want to talk either. You really don't want to talk, huh? Okay, we're going to come back to you. With your punk ass. <laughs> oh. oh. That's what you're overthinking. You're overthinking. Okay, now the fool is underneath the deck. We're going to come back to that. Okay, but the fool, I, they were, spirit was guiding me to look underneath the deck. There's some sort of a leap of faith that this person needs to take. Um, and they want to take it, but they don't know how to do it. The wheel of, the, the, not the Wheel of Fortune, the fool. Okay. And also, this leap of faith could start with communication. They may want to communication. They may want to communication. They may want to communicate. They may know they need to communicate. They may not know how to do it. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to how to act. They don't know what they don't know what to start with. They don't. What kind of icebreaker should I use? I, I don't even know. I don't. I don't even know how to talk to this person. Like, what am I supposed to do? First and foremost, the first thing to do is to relax because it's going to be okay, all right? Because this person right here is sitting so patiently, just waiting for the time to come. God, I love, the, I mean, guys, look at that. Look at this deck. It's just, isn't it so beautiful? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but this person, now I do feel like this is the feminine counterpart to this person, to this King of Swords here. But um, this person is waiting, sitting waiting quite patiently because they know better, Divine Wisdom. And it's funny, the way this is all set up, the Divine Wisdom card, Is Goddess Isis, This is that's who's on this deck. Goddess Isis is like looking right at this, <laughs> this King of Swords, just kind of like smiling, like, whenever you're ready, buddy, I'm here. <laughs> Let's get some clarity for you here, okay? This, and I'm just gonna do it all. Just gonna clarify all of it because it, I don't wanna split it up. It's all a, a, a solid message here. So for this person, just some clarification. I was gonna say, neither one of you wanna talk? What the hell? Oof, whoa. Okay. Underneath the deck, oh shit, is the tower. Okay. You also have death. You have the seven of cups and you have the five of wands. This is interesting. Nine of wands. Ace of wands. Strength in reverse. Very interesting. Well, shit. This is really interesting. Um, okay. Okay. Something happened. Something happened here. There was a tower moment, or there is a tower moment that's coming. Maybe this is why this King of Swords is 
all clammed up? Was there a fight? You have the tower with death, five of wands, seven of cups, and strength in reverse. And then, and then down here you have the nine of wands with the ace of wands, which is just that one last wand to make a ten. Now, okay, so... Oh. Okay. Okay. This is why, wow, okay. So this is why this person, it feels like this is why this person has clammed up over here. King of Swords is in reverse with the Two of Swords. There was some sort of, I feel like there was some sort of communication um, about... Bur some sort of burdensome topic. Um, but this, okay, the Nine of Wands with the Ace of Wands is basically, you put those together, you have the Ten of Wands. Now, that's not such a bad thing. Um, the Nine of Wands is a defensive energy, is a persevering energy, right? You can look at them separately, okay? Someone here is persevering against some, uh, towards something, or against something, I guess you could say, um, because they have some sort of inspiration. But this last piece of inspiration is what completes this 10, in essence. Is that's kind of what I'm seeing. And so then you have a completion of a very burdensome topic, okay? Which leads to a transformation with death here. And there's a lot of differing of opinion. There's a lot of inner conflict, a lot of inner turmoil, five of wands but also a lot of chaos and confusion, which to, uh, chaos and confusion between the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups, which to me is just like the manifestation process, the creation process. To me, the universe, the, the natural state of the universe is a state of chaos. You could say it's organized chaos, right? You do have strength in reverse here, and I almost, I wanna clarify that some more. I really do want to clarify that some more. This strength in reverse. It's like... There is um, a release of some sort of pride and ego. I want to clarify this again. Give me a second, guys, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna go see if we can get some clarity for this person. I'm not really sure what's going on here, you guys. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm really unsure what's going on here. It it feels really strange. Like it almost doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense in a sense in a way. Maybe it's just that it doesn't make sense to me because I'm on the outside like looking in, you know. But because what I'm feeling here is like. The strength to release some sort of burden. Maybe it has to do with just being truthful and honest. With this strength in reverse, it's almost like you're giving up a sense of pride and ego. Maybe it was, maybe someone flexed too hard. <laughs> and that kind of like put someone off here. Let's see, strength in reverse, please, spirit. Just clarify this for me, please. Just a little bit more. Seven of Cups. Again. Strength in reverse here, Spirit. Strength in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. And the Devil. Oh, shit. You guys can't see it if it's over here, but all right, I'll put it over here then. Um, well, no, I'll just leave it here. I'm sorry, you guys, you can't really see this because it's kind of off screen, but yeah, there's some sort of, maybe this is fear, to be honest. 
I'm I'm sorry guys, I'm jumping around like crazy, but I wanna clarify this side. I wanna see if we can get some clarity on this side now for this person, this King of Swords in reverse with the Two of Swords. Cause I'm really, I'm really having trouble putting this together, but let's see what we get here. What is this energy? Please spirit, just some clarity. The Knight of Wands in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Ten of Pentacles with the Lovers. Whoa. All right, here's the deal. This King of Swords in reverse energy, this is no communication right now. The person either isn't communicating with you right now or hasn't been communicating with you, okay? There, it, it's almost as if this Knight of Wands in reverse energy, this is a lot, this is kind of mirroring the energy from yesterday. It's like this person doesn't want to just, this isn't just a lustful thing. 10, 10, Wheel of Fortune, 10 of Pentacles. This is time, guys. This is straight up 100% pure time. Time is of the essence. Um, Okay, so check it out. First of all, this person has a choice to make. Okay, this is the lovers, this is Gemini energy. You could also be talking about Sagittarian energy, we have Aquarian energy, we have Scorpio, um, we have Capricorn, we have Leo. Leo it come, it came out twice actually. There's a choice to make. And I do feel like, I feel like it's around communication. I do feel like this person's gonna come around. Um, either the passion has worn off or there's a situation in which someone is not trying to move too quickly. What I'm seeing in this energy here is that someone's like, I can't just, okay, okay, now it's starting to make sense. All right, because uh, again, apo I apologize for jumping around so much, but now I get what's happening because when I was here with this person, and you remember how I said someone flexed too hard, maybe? I, it, what happens here, somebody, was kind of like in a defensive mode with the Nine of Wands here. Um, and, you know, there was, I'm hearing the burden of passion. So they were already in a kind of defensive mode here, probably wasn't really looking for anything. And then all of a sudden, here comes this like connection. And now you have this like lustful energy between you two people. But for this person here, that's represented by um, the, the uh, divine wisdom, four of cups, four of wands, strength, and the seven of, oh, this is the seven of pentacles, not the six of pentacles. I was reading this wrong the whole time. I was reading this wrong the whole time. But now it makes more sense. No, well, actually, I wasn't really reading it wrong. I was under the wrong interpretation. I, I thought it was the Six of Pentacles, but actually it's the Seven. Um, but it still makes sense. But anyway, um, this person here <clears throat> has, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles, they've learned their lesson. They've learned through the contrast, all right? And um, they have the strength to say, mm, I don't know if I want to give into this right now because it is, it is kind of feeling like a burden. Because if it's just lustful, if it's just another situation of lust, I don't want to be involved. That's not what I'm looking for, okay? I've been through this transformation, okay? And that's the tower. The ta now, remember, when we were clarifying this section, the tower was underneath the deck, okay? And I feel like there was something communicated here about, you know, differing of opinion, having options, or um, not wanting to be, not just wanting to, like, give it up right away. You know what I mean? And so now, maybe you communicated it to this person or this person got wind of it. And also strength is in reverse here. This still is somewhat confusing to me because even though you're in this energy, strength in reverse, 
because strength is up right here. This is really, it, I, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of confusing me a little bit. This feels very confusing. But then you have these clarifiers here. Seven of Pentacles, again. Seven of Cups, again. The Ten of Cups, but also with the Devil. Okay, there is fear involved. There is fear involved in this situation. Even though this person is sitting here in this divine wisdom energy, there is in fact fear involved. But with the, here's the kicker. You're not necessarily going to see them sweat. Period. You're not going to. Because people have seen them sweat in the past and it, and it was used to their advantage against this person. So you're not going to see him sweat this time. Absolutely not. Let's jump over to this person who is now like, uh-oh, I can't come in with my normal lusty or kind of arrogant. This almost feels, yeah, it's kind of like an arrogant energy. I'm almost seeing like um, like the King of Wands energy, but it, obviously it's not the King, it's the Knight, and so it's less mature. But even the King of Wands can be extremely, extremely full of himself and arrogant. But I think this person is now kind of under the impression of, holy shit, I can't, I can't express that energy to get this person's attention anymore. What the fuck do I do? King of Swords in reverse. They have no idea what to do, but it's almost like it's forcing them to take some time. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles. I do feel like this is going to work out in your favor because you have the lovers here. This is about a choice, yes, but this is also a very deep connection. Soulmate bond. Divine connection. Put whatever label on it that you will. Wow, that was confusing. <laughs> now, I do want to I do want to mention, I do feel like this is working out in your favor. You have the Wheel of Fortune here twice. Um and it's upright both times. Also though, there's a family focus with this 10 of pentacles here. There's a family focus, longevity. Um, how do we build a life together? Both sides of the equation are fearful and you're not gonna see either of them sweat. I swear to you, it's just not gonna happen. Page of Wands. I just swear to you, I swear to you, it's not gonna happen. You may be able to like pick up on it in certain spaces, but don't expect any strong signs or whatnot that someone's stressing out about something or that they're afraid of something or whatnot. You won't you you will you will not you will be hard pressed to see it. Okay. Hard pressed. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Um, and I do apologize for misspeaking earlier. This is, in fact, the Seven of Pentacles. It's not the Six of Pentacles. But ultimately, that's the lesson that's been learned here, the lesson in reciprocity. And someone's not really going to give in until, or no, someone's really not going to show anything or much, isn't gonna show much until there is reciprocal give and take. Okay, Oracle Guidance. I'm being called to go with the Lightworker Oracle today. So let's see what comes out. For today. Thursday, May 9th, 2019. 2019 souls. <laughs> One more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got here. Here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for today. Okay. Card number 41, spiritual decree. Now that does boil down to a five here. And a five is a number of change. Um, we have, well, this person here has five cards. 
main cards. Then they have the five of pentacles. Change. Challenge. There we go. You have been wondering what will happen next in your life, what, not realizing how much power you have to decide that for yourself. What do you wish to have happen next? Are you willing to use your divine birthrights of free will, voice, and empowerment to set the cosmic wheels in motion? If, you answer, if your answer is yes, then it is time to speak your truth to the universe. Decree it, and you shall be it. I'm going to read a little bit more here. You have been praying for help, asking for a map, and wanting directions. You are wise in the ways of the receptive, responsive approach to life. It is spiritually mature to trust the greater guiding power of the divine to direct your course, and yet the wishes in your heart are part of how that happens. Divine destiny is not something that just happens to you, but it is something that you co-create as a living spiritual being with free will and divine love beating in your heart. You are being honored for your ability to ask for guidance and wait for signs. You are also being asked to set intention and develop faith in yourself, to trust in what your heart yearns for, what you love so much that you are willing to go through the discomfort of growth to see it come to light. It is time for you to have the experience of seeing your intention blossom into manifestation. This does not mean that you have to make things happen. You are not responsible for how your manifestation occurs. The universe unfolds according to its own genius, of course, but you are responsible for the words, beliefs, and intentions you express that are the seeds of your personal creations. The universe then responds in its own way, in its own wise and powerful way. When this oracle card comes to you, it is time to speak your truth. What does your heart truly yearn for? Focus on it and say it out loud. Don't be afraid to speak your dreams, desires, wishes, and fantasies. Sometimes it is only in daring to speak them aloud that we really understand what we want. This can be a terrifying, liberating, ex uh, exciting, and life-changing moment. It is the moment that we grow into a spiritual adult, becoming willing to take responsibility for our own life journey. Oh, okay, they're saying to read that last paragraph. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> um, okay, will you, will you speak your heart's truth now? Feel your words moving the energy from deep within, transforming your truth into sound and releasing it as intent into the universe. Don't worry about finding the perfect words. Just speak freely from your heart. Give yourself permission to express your deepest desires and then let go and trust. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because this person wants to talk or knows that they need to start speaking up. They need to start expressing what they want from someone or time is just going to take away and somebody could move on because I see here that someone does in fact have some options with this Seven of Cups energy. Sips tea. <laughs> anyway, even though this person has options, I don't think they're really focused on them. They're not really like... It's not even like they're really trying to entertain them. They may be well aware of the different options that they have, but that doesn't really mean anything to them because they still know they want one. So it doesn't matter how many options they may have around them. They still just want one. And they probably have a good idea of which one they want. Now, that's not to say that they're stuck on that one option. It's more that they recognize that the one, that option or that potential of fulfilling that option is like either in the vicinity or it's right around the corner or they know of this person already. But with these lessons that they've learned here in their, in their situation, strength, the universe, seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles came out twice here, okay? So did strength, <clears throat> but the second time strength came out reversed. So with this lessons that they've learned, these lessons that they've learned on their journey here, I'm holding these up as if you can really see them, but whatever. The lessons that they've learned on this journey here, they're not really going to give anything until it's reciprocal, reciprocity, okay? That has been the lesson of this Seven of Pentacles energy. But now, all right, Seven of Pentacles energy, but there is a little bit of free fear creeping into the situation. Strength is in reverse. The devil. 
But you see, you have the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups again, all right? So somebody knows that they have the options, but they know that they just want this one. But they also understand, that's the other part of this lesson here that they've learned here. They've also under, they also understand that just because they have found someone that could potentially be, that really could be, chances are really high that they could be this Ten of Cups, they are well, well, well aware excuse me, they are well aware, seven of pentacles, that this is not the only person that could possibly fulfill this ten of cups energy. Okay? But there's still fear involved. Because this person really wants this. Like, really wants this. It's what they've been working for. That's what they've gone through these major transformations for. And then here's this person with the King of Swords in reverse here, who's got this lover's card, who's, who's like, it's like just, okay, but see, with all that said, this person here, let me talk to you for a second, strength in reverse. It's almost as if you're willing to give up, but then look over here, this person that you kind of feel like is your counterpart, who knows that they can't come to you hot and heavy with a with like a big heart on and that'll just be enough. I mean, it's necessary, don't get me wrong, but it's not everything, nor should it be anything, everything, right? This person recognizes that there is this is going to take some time. And actually this person might want it to take time. They may not even want this rush type energy to happen. They want to take it slow. They want things to develop naturally. They do have the lover's card here. Okay? And I'm hearing the choice is you. And that, I mean, that's literally what I just heard. Take, take, it as, take it as it resonates. I don't know. I'm just the messenger. But don't give up. Strength in reverse. Let's turn this up right here. Stoicism, yes. But you know... You know what this is. You've been through this transformation. You know what this is. Don't let the devil get you down with his punk ass. Let's just like throw him away. Oh God. Yeah, see? Okay. And see, look, underneath the Crystal Visions deck, you do have the Page of Cup. I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles. So you just recently hit a new level, but here's the devil talk about, man, this is never gonna work, man. Yo, fuck this guy. Whoa, ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just threw my whole deck of cards. But yo, fuck that energy. Oh shit, that just opened up like all kinds of Pandora's boxes here. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, oh, we <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I feel so bad now that I just flicked my cards like that. But that devil energy is just like, oh look, there's the Ten of Pentacles again. Anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. That's it for now. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I will see you later for morning coffee, not morning coffee, for um, happy hour. Again, if you would like to get on the list early, go ahead and send payment to my PayPal account. Um, happy hour questions are discounted to $20 and they are performed in the single question form. And if I don't see you tonight, I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.